What if pregnant women in rural Sudan had access to a holistic approach to maternal health? What if they had consistent access to a mode of emergency transportation that was sustainable and relied on infrastructure already present in the country? What if no woman had to risk death in order to give birth? This is Mrs. X. She lives in a small village in rural Sudan where she married young and is now pregnant. There is a regional health center, but it is 50 kilometers away. The journey can take many hours and public and private transportation options are virtually non-existent. Maternal mortality remains a major issue in rural Sudan and giving birth can be life-threatening. What happened to Mrs. X? Mrs. X lacked general knowledge about her pregnancy and was not able to ask questions. Her traditional birth attendant could not recognize signs of complications. When problems did arise, Mrs. X could not find affordable, readily available emergency transportation. She was forced to deliver at home in unsanitary conditions without medications, necessary equipment, or a skilled midwife. It is for these reasons that Mrs. X and her baby died. What if we could rewrite the story of Mrs. X? First, Mrs. X will be better informed about her pregnancy through an automated, open-source text messaging service program to deliver state-specific messages. Mrs. X and her husband, Mr. X, will receive tailored messages in the local language every other week from the health center. These will include information about nutritious foods, reminders to make a plan with a traditional birth attendant, also known as TBA, to deliver at the health facility, and an opportunity to ask questions and raise concerns to a trained midwife. Including men is essential because they are more likely to be literate. They will also be more supportive if they are part of the communication network. TBAs will also receive text messages with tips and reminders about warning signs and complications. These services will be provided free of charge through a subsidized agreement with the country's largest cellular service provider, Zain Sudan. With information constantly being shared through increased communication, Mrs. X, Mr. X, the TBA, and the health center will be better able to manage the pregnancy, prevent complications, and prepare for enforcing problems. Health centers will also be able to contact UNFPA offices for specific advice. Second, the TBAs will undergo trainings led by the local health center. These will be done in the local language to increase awareness of the warning signs of pregnancy complications and best practices for a healthy pregnancy. These trainings will facilitate better communication between the TBAs and the health center, encouraging a more collaborative relationship. This approach will incentivize TBAs to work alongside midwives and offer them compensation when they refer pregnant women to a health facility. They will also be trained on and equipped with a clean delivery kit and a non-pneumatic anti-shock garment, which has been proven to reduce blood loss from postpartum hemorrhage. A reliable mode of transportation will be available for Mrs. X when she needs to be transported to the health center. Based on the Sudanese context, this will be a motorcycle ambulance which is kept at the health facility and is outfitted with the tools needed for the provision of healthcare in extreme conditions. It will also have room for a designated driver from the health center accompanied by a skilled midwife to administer basic care on the journey. An enclosed sidecar will ensure Mrs. X's privacy while she is being safely transported. Consistent financial input will be necessary to keep the motorbike fueled and well maintained. This expenditure is justified through the economic return of ensuring safe motherhood for all women. If Mrs. X had access to all of these interventions, she would have had a better chance of surviving her pregnancy complications. What if this was possible? It is. Innovation saved Mrs. X's life and the life of her baby. Mrs. X and Mr. X received tailored SMS messages that helped them become better educated about her pregnancy. Messages delivered to the TBAs in the community empowered them to provide care and work closely with the local health facility. When Mrs. X began to experience complications, the TBA called the health center at the first sign of distress. The TBA was able to provide initial care while the motorcycle ambulance was deployed to the community. It is this holistic package that ultimately ensured that Mrs. X survived her pregnancy and safely gave birth to a happy and healthy baby. The locally managed M Health system and motorcycle ambulance approach will ensure that no woman has to risk death to give birth.